What's up, y'all? Welcome to Meat Cranium Barbecue and Review. Today is part two of So You Want to Be a YouTuber. Today, I'm going to be going through a couple of my... Really? Come on. This too? Can we get through all this so I can get the video started? Okay, yeah, I know. Like, subscribe. Okay. Oh, there's the bell. Okay. Let's get through all this. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, cool. Now, let's finally begin. Now we got through the like, subscribe, and the freaking bell. Like, y'all don't know how to already do that. I'm going to show y'all. We're going to go through some things that I find to be pretty pretty funny. That's amongst our community. And go through some, some more pet peeves, some more instructional things, and what to do, what not to do. This is basically going to be the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's get started. First point. Like and subscribe, guy. Smash subscribe. All right, so before this video even starts, before you even know what it is even about, I want you to smash that like button. I want you to punch that like button. I want you to Daniel son that like button. I don't care what you do, slam it on the ground. Do whatever you have to do to that like button. You hit that like button, that thumbs up. And if you don't know how to subscribe to somebody, there is a little finger. It's gonna go click. And it's gonna say subscribe. Because guess what? I guess y'all don't know how to subscribe to somebody. So you need instructions on how to subscribe to people. In case you do, I'm gonna show you real quick. All right, hey, uh, uh, Rico, Smoking Jazz Barbecue, please forgive me on this. All right, I'm just using it kind of as an instructional thing here. So I'm gonna show y'all how to subscribe to somebody. And it already gives you, um, at least on your phone, it already shows you how to uh, uh, hit the bell. <laughs> cool to get notifications, check this out. So I am already subscribed to Rico at Smoking Jazz Barbecue. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to unsubscribe to him, okay? All right, look, see this right there, unsubscribe. Now watch this. Now if I want to come across Rico Smoking Jazz Barbecue and I want to subscribe to him, there's a little button there that says, look at that, it says subscribe. Isn't that neat? So we're gonna go hit subscribe. Oh look, and what does that say? Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. There we go, and I hit it. Isn't that something? Now y'all, know how to, at least on a phone, it's probably the same thing on the computer, how to subscribe to somebody. Because me personally, I don't think that y'all need all these instructions throughout the video on how to like and subscribe and hit a bell to a channel. Therefore, um, I think it's kind of unnecessary. I know Roberto Blake and some of these other guys, uh, YouTube, they talk about this crap. Hey, look, I just say that at the end as, a, as, a, as just like my parting message. I say, hey, like, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Ciao. That's what I say. That's my ending parting message. But you don't need to be peppered throughout a video to like, subscribe, and hit a bell. To me, it looks like it's desperate. It looks like you're completely desperate on wanting to get subscribers. If somebody likes your video, they're going to subscribe. And I think in order to subscribe to somebody, you have to set up a YouTube channel. You have to set yourself up a YouTube account. If you set yourself up a YouTube account, more than likely you can figure out how to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell for somebody. You don't need a constant reminder throughout a video on how to do it or at least let the people watch at least half your video before you pelt them with like, subscribe, and hit them with the freaking bell. You don't need to do it at the beginning of the video, okay? That's my, that's my first point. Next point, number two. Hit the bell! I know as a new YouTuber, you want everybody to perceive that you know everything about cooking, that you are perfect at cooking. You don't want to show your fails. I'm telling you, show your fails. If you show your fails, it's going to give you credibility. Me, personally, I'm going to uh, admit right now, I do not know how to make macaroni and cheese by scratch. I thought I had it figured out. I did a video on it. I did ultimate mac and cheese. Go watch it. It's a beautiful video. One of those beautiful videos I ever made and I completely failed. I wasn't going to post it. My wife says, no, you should post it. And you know what? She was right, guys. I should have posted it and I did. Uh, ultimate mac and cheese was a fail video I did. I'm glad I posted it because you know what? It shows I'm human and I make mistakes. All right. Other thing I cannot make, I've never been able to figure it out, is lasagna. I can't make lasagna, y'all. Lasagna and mac and cheese? Nope, your boy can't make it. So, show your fails, all right? It's okay, it's okay to show that you're not perfect. It's okay to show to, to show that you overcook a piece of meat. It's okay, y'all, do it. If you fail, show it. You're not gonna be perfect at doing everything. So take that as some advice. Smash the like button. 
All right, number three, where do I get my stuff at? So watch this clip, see after this clip. Be a YouTuber. Well, if you wanna know where I get some of my really cool stuff at, it's right here at TJ Maxx. Let's go in and see what kind of cool stuff they have at really cool discount prices. All right, so for TJ Maxx, you get a lot of really good dishes, pots, pans, so, I mean, really good prices. A uh, little ten, 10 bucks for that, you get cast iron. Got some dishes to put, uh, you know, to uh, to make like thumbnails. This is really good stuff. Like white dishes, like uh, you know, you want to do thumbnails. Put on like some white dishes and stuff. Portugal, there we go. Hey, Portugal's got to be good. So look, that's some nice mixing bowls for your channel right here. Five bucks for a bowl. Really good price. Let's go here and look some more stuff. Here's my favorite section at TJ Maxx. It's the wood section. This is where I get a lot of my uh, uh, cutting boards at, a lot of my bowls. They don't have any bowls right now, but this is where I got a lot of my wooden bowls from that I use in my channel. Look at this. Custom order right here. How much is this? 17 bucks. Oh, oh, oh nice that is. 17 bucks for another custom order. Heck, I might go ahead and buy one of these now. That's a really good price. Wooden spoons. See, wooden spoons, five bucks. Now pick yourself up some knives, some cheap knives. Pick all kinds of knives here. There's all kinds of stuff here at TJ Maxx. Imagine doing a thumbnail on that, put a burger or a piece of uh, you know, steak or something on that. That would look really nice. It'd be a real good thumbnail. Here's some more custom orders, 15 bucks. You got all kinds of stuff here. You want to start your own YouTube channel. Good wooden trays out here. Here's some cutting boards right there. See, good stuff. Okay, so if you want to know where I get like my, like, like some really cool oils and stuff I use and spices that I use, right here at TJ Maxx, you can get this stuff really cheap. Check this out. Sir, they've got olive oil, cheap, cheap olive oil, look at that, six bucks, olive oil. We got a basil infused oil, and all kinds of stuff like this. Fennel seed infused oil, uh, turmeric. You've got salt and pepper shakers that you can turn up. I mean, all kinds. You can really level up your game, your cooking game. I mean, look, they sell different kinds of preserves, jams, all kinds of stuff. Y'all need to come check this place out. Y'all have a TJ Maxx near you? Go check it out. I mean, you can get all kinds of really cool stuff. Pickled asparagus, pickled beans. Uh, some devil dude or something. I don't know what that is. Zombie, zombie blood. Um, hot sauce. Look at this stuff, y'all. Come on. All right, so there you go. This is my favorite place to get a lot of the stuff I use for my YouTube channel. So y'all should check it out too. Get back to the video. All right, so there you go. Really? Come on. Can I just get on to my next point without getting pelted with like and subscribe and the bell again? This is bull crap. Come on. Let's get through Come on. Let's get through the like, subscribe, the bell. Okay. All right, next point. Let's get on to the next one. Okay, now here's one that's near and dear to me. This is going to be a section called product pushers. Basically selling your soul to the devil to push a product, it doesn't matter what the product is. I've had probably no less than probably 30 or 40 companies hit me up to, to try their products out and my response to all of them is either, I'm sorry, your product does not fit my channel, I'm a cooking channel, and me wanting to promote a desk fan or cell phone cases, it, it doesn't does not relate to my channel, and I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna promote your I'm not going to uh, promote your product. However, there are a lot of times where the product does match my channel, and I will I will email back. I'm like, hey, look, if your if your product is not if you don't have 100% um, uh, confidence in your product, do not send it to me because I'm going to do 100% honest review. And if there's anything I find inside there that I can pick apart, I will. So you better make sure that your product is up to snuff and it's, it's the best thing since sliced bread. And I'll be more than glad to do a, a review of it because as y'all know, if I find something wrong, I'm going to let y'all know because I have integrity. And if I find something wrong in a product or it's something bad that I don't like in a product, I'm going to let y'all know. Because if y'all get the product that I recommend and you guys get it and it's a piece of crap, guess what? It looks bad on your boy. I'm not doing that. So anyhow, these product pushers, um, I seen, it kind of irritates me because there's been several products that I have rejected and a couple weeks later I find 
I see a YouTuber do an a review on it and one of them was a it was a big old fan there's like an outdoor fan you hook your hook your hose up to and you and you get like a mist that blows out I got hit up for to, to promote that product and I said I'm sorry but I don't know I don't see a way how I can actually use that on my channel or or promote it or anything else I said so never mind it it's it's nothing to me it's nothing cooking related two weeks later or might even been a week later I seen a youtuber do a review it was a cooking it was a cooking channel that did a review of that same exact fan that you hook a you hook a hose up to and you let it blow around I got hit up for that first but yet I see another youtuber doing it to me it's selling your soul to the devil I'm not doing it I'm not selling my soul to the devil if a company actually uh, trust me and to trust what I say about their product barrel house cooker a barbecue dragon and flame boss those are those are three companies that, that trusted me to do a review of their products and guess what and as y'all seen it wasn't 100 percent and i wasn't just i wasn't like a fanboy of theirs and just to say oh i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna brown y'all's nose because no because guess what if i give a review of a product you know i want to make dang sure that the company if there's something wrong with it they can i'm gonna give them a chance to improve that product and if they improve it i'm gonna let y'all know if, if they improve it and also i want y'all to get a good product that is that is affordable and is a good quality product that's why i do it let's get on to the next point All right, this point is keyboard cooks. So, keyboard cooks, I also like to call them authentic guy, is the ones that give you, uh, that, that you do a dish. You say, oh, that's not authentic. That's not the way you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it like this. Kind of annoying, but you know what? There's a silver lining in all those. I've done videos because of keyboard cooks have given me ideas. Listen to them, read what they say. Some of them are just blowing hot air. Some of them actually know what they're talking about. So these keyboard cooks, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Um, it could be a bad thing because they're just annoying and they're trying to, basically you're just trying to say that, you know, you're not doing it the way that, that we did back in freaking uh, Yugoslavia. I think even Yugoslavia is even around anymore, but that'd be a good, a good one to use because the country doesn't even exist no more. So anyhow, uh, keyboard cooks, good and bad listen to them because they can also give you ideas on future dishes to do next point The next one is trolls. Uh, trolls really offer nothing to your channel other than just to make fun or mock you or anything else. But here's the thing, if you don't get a troll, you're not doing something right. You get trolls when you're doing something right. If you're butt hurting somebody, or if you're tweaking somebody, or if you uh, uh, are doing something that might be a little controversial, hey, the trolls are gonna come out even if you don't do something right. Some people just like to just complain and whine and piss and moan. And, but the trolls, this is, what, this is how you handle trolls. Me, I kind of like to answer them back, you know, I kind of like to have fun with them a little bit. But after I have my fun with them, I'll probably, I just block them and I'll just delete their comment. You know, I have my fun with them a little bit, but then just delete their comment and move on. But if you don't get, you're not getting trolls, you're not doing something right. You should be getting trolls, they're fun. I like the trolls. Just not, not saying I really want to get like a lot of trolls, just. You know, they're okay. Next point. Okay, this point is... Stay tuned, I'll be back. Oh, I'm back. Stay tuned, I'll be back. Oh, hey guys, I'm back. Okay, those guys. That's pretty funny. Hey, I've done it myself, so I'm kind of poking fun at myself here. It's uh, it's the videos that you watch, uh, and I believe everybody's done it, okay? So, so we can all, as a community, laugh at ourselves on this one. So you're watching a video, and people watch my video, and you will say, I did this especially at the, at the beginning of my channel, is you would say, okay guys, or hey y'all, I'll be right back. And then next scene, I'm back, <laughs> you think? Why you think we're watching your video? <laughs> oh yeah. Isn't that cheeky? So we're watching your video and you say, I'll be right back, and then you're back. Well, that's the reason why we're kind of watching your video. So is the, I'll be right back and back, I'm back, is it really needed? No, is it funny? I, I find it completely hilarious, and I'm not really uh, mocking anybody on it. I just find it to be something that is that is pretty, that's pretty hilarious that we all do. Just bringing that point up. I'm not saying you gotta change it at all. I'm not saying it's not, not even a pet peeve. I just find it to be funny. Hey, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> Next point. Okay, so now here is another pretty funny point. Really? <sighs> Subscribe and like 
and Bell again? Come on. Can I just get through this rest of this video without there being subscribe, like, and the bell? Come on, man. All right, let's come on. Let's get through this. All right, y'all know how. Okay, like, subscribe, the bell, hit the notifications, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, let's get through it. Okay, all right. Next point, which is pretty funny. Look, when I watch somebody's video, I try to watch it all the way through. Sometimes I can't watch a video all the way through the first time, but I will comment a section just just started watching or still watching or just started watching so that a YouTuber knows that hey you know what uh, I just started watching and then uh, then 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 I, I still try to watch the entire video even if it's a 30 minute video I still try to watch the entire thing however this is kind of funny because I've caught a lot of fellow youtubers doing this kind of crap so I'll have a 15 minute video I'll put the time at I'll have the scheduled time at 10 o'clock all right uh, the scheduled time at 10 o'clock this is before we did premieres so you schedule the time at at 10 o'clock is a 15 minute video so at, at 10 15 the video would end well at the two minute mark at 10 02 10 03 these youtubers will say hey man that's a great they'll type that is a great video sure did look yummy i love it it's awesome what a great dish then my comment back to them generally is hey thanks for taking three minutes to watch my 15 minute video i appreciate that hey look you can bs some people sometimes but you can't bs all the people all the time um so i find that kind of funny that people do that if you watch if you watch somebody's uh video try to watch it all the way through it's kind of common decency so try to do that hit the bell All right, y'all, so when doing this YouTube thing, you need to uh, kind of get in your mind, what kind of channel do I want to be or what kind of style do I want to be? Do I want to be the person like me that's in front of the camera, talks and everything else, or do I want to be the person that doesn't show their face on camera, by the way, which is perfectly fine. I watch a lot of people that um, they, they make, a, they're, they're very successful, and they do a really good job. It just basically, it's just their hand. Again, Heavy Metal Barbecue, he said this all about the food couldn't agree more it is about the food so that's why that's why you gotta make sure you get the camera up in close and uh, basically with Ken all you see is just he's just straight to the point it's just hand and that's all you see uh, Tom Horseman another great one all you see is his hand you don't ever see the guy uh, and that's what they do that's their gig and they do really 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 good with it to try to emulate yourself after uh, people that are uh, really good people at, at teaching uh, very good people at coaching I might not be probably the best person in the world I think I, I try to do the best job I can to try to coach and to try to teach and to try to uh, teach a lesson but you know people like Malcolm Reed this guy he's He's got a huge channel. Malcolm Reed is fantastic. He's a fantastic uh, teacher. He speaks slowly. He go. He's very detailed. He goes through his stuff. Uh, you have people like Cookout Steve, Cookout Coach, great channel. He's also a, a very. Uh, I mean, he, he basically he's a Cookout Coach, so he's actually properly named. Uh, Ryan at Grill Top Experience. I was watching one of his videos and uh, I commented, I like the guy, and inside his comment section, somebody commented, I thought this was really cool, I could listen to this guy read the phone book. And it's true. So Ryan Grill Top Experience is another great, great channel to watch for instruction. There's a bunch of channels out there, I know I'm gonna forget some, but there's, uh, but, those, but there's channels out there, you know, if you wanna try to emulate yourself after somebody, there's no problem emulating your channel after another channel and trying to be like another channel. I've seen other channels before and I've tried to emulate my channel kind of after them, but then uh, while doing so, I kind of found my own, my own roots and how I wanted to do my channel. So if you wanna take uh, another channel as a guide until you can kind of find like, like your own way, there's nothing wrong with that. It's completely fine. There are some channels, um, you know, uh, some people do no words. They don't even talk. It's just music and food. Nothing wrong with that. I love that. Uh, some words are never even spoken and they still get their point across. That is, that is totally awesome. In fact, I've done some videos like that myself. Uh, like my ultimate series, like my ultimate series of videos. I don't even speak, it's just food. I haven't done one in a while, but just food and music. There's another tip. To me personally, there's 
there's nothing wrong with emulating and trying to copy another channel while you're a young channel trying to copy somebody else or couldn't they try to copy somebody else's style there's nothing wrong with that I don't see nothing wrong with that if you guys want to try to copy me emulate me because there's no other form of flattery than somebody trying to be like you or trying to do your style it's flattery y'all want to emulate me hey that's fine I, I would appreciate it but if y'all want to emulate somebody else until you can finally find your own way do it go for it all right all right y'all well, this is, this is it for part two. Is there anything else I can think of? I'll add it into this video. So anyhow, like, there you go. Subscribe, there you go. And hit the notification bell. And I will see y'all next week. Ciao. You need to flex on the like button. Subscribe button, flex on it. Yeah, like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. Yeah. <laughs>